guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelby and today I'm going to be celebrating my two year booktube anniversary. It's hard to believe two years ago today I posted my first video on this channel which was a meet the booktuber video and it has been such a fun time since then. I have loved getting to know each of you through comments and interactions. I love this community so much and it has been such a genuine joy to be a part of it these past two years. On Instagram and the community tab here on YouTube, I asked you guys how I should celebrate this milestone, and there was a pretty collective agreement that I should celebrate by doing a celebratory bookstore vlog. So today I'm going to be going to one of my favorite bookstores in Washington, D.C. to do some shopping and kind of celebrate this event. So I will be going to Politics and Prose. My goal is to spend between the $40 and $60 range. We'll see how that goes because I always end up finding more things I'll enjoy, so I pick those up, but I'm going to try really hard to stick within my budget. But overall, I'm just really excited to go book shopping, get some new books, support an independent bookstore, and, you know, just celebrate this fun day. Right now it is June 10th, which is the booktube anniversary, but this is going up on Sunday. But even if it's a belated celebration, I'm just happy to celebrate it and enjoy it with you guys because you guys are a big part of the reason that I'm still on this platform because of your love and friendship and support. I am just really excited to spend this fun occasion with all of you. So without further ado, we are going to go ahead to the bookstore and, you know, just have fun. And then we will come back here for a haul and kind of wrap up for the video. Video. So I hope you guys sit back, relax, and enjoy. I hate the lighting in my car, but whatever. We are about to head to the bookstore, but first we're going to stop really quickly at CVS to pick up a few things. I have to pick up a few small things, and then we will head over to Politics and Prose. I have not had breakfast yet, so I probably will have something at their cafe, and then we will start book shopping. Once again, thank you guys so much for your recommendations that you gave me on my YouTube community tab. I will definitely look at those, and yeah, it's going to be so much fun, so let's get started. Divergent had new covers. Um, this is what they look like. I am unsure about how I feel about them. Let's look at another one. This one is Allegiant. I'm not quite sure. They very much fit into like the dystopian vibe of Divergent, but I don't love these covers. Not that the original covers were that good, but I don't know. I'm not really feeling like the complexity of this cover. I'm not sure. I didn't even know they had them. So, you know, you learn something new every time you go to the bookstore. So far I have picked up 
three books. I don't know, I just did a two with my fingers. So I picked up three books, um, two fantasies and one romance. I would really like to grab one more like fiction or romance or some kind of contemporary book. But I'm really happy with my choices so far. I'm not going to tell you what they are just yet so I can tell you at the end of the video. But yeah, I'm really liking them so far. I love this bookshop so much. and I'm so excited to share all the books that I got with you. I ended up getting four books, like I said earlier, two fantasy and two romances actually, and I'm so excited to share them. Some of these came out a while ago, some more recently, but they are all books I have wanted to read and I'm so excited to finally have the chance to. So the first book that I picked up at Politics and Prose was we Hunt the Flame by Hafsa Faisal. This is about a girl named Zafira who disguises herself as a man to hunt and I think like gather food and resources for her village and if anyone found out she was a woman disguised as a man it would be catastrophic for her. And it also follows a prince named Nasir who is also called like the Prince of Death. And this story is kind of what happens when their two paths collide. I have heard such amazing things about We Hunt the Flame. It has gotten so many accolades that I'm really excited to get into the story. I believe it's a duology and I've just heard so many great things so I'm very excited to read it and kind of get what all the hype is about. So I've never read anything by Hafsa Faisal. I've heard she's a wonderful writer and overall I just think this is going to be a really great fun fantasy read with some hope Hopefully Forbidden Romance is what I'm getting from the back. So we always love that. So I'm really excited to read this one. So the next book that I picked up is a romance. Recently I have been reading and loving a lot of historical romances set in the 1800s and this one fits right into that category. It is A Lady's Guide to Mischief and Mayhem. This is by Manda Collins and the little tagline in the book is of all the crime scenes in all the world she walks into his twice. So this follows a detective and a newspaper columnist as they, you know, kind of work together to solve some murders or maybe one murder. Yeah. I love a historical fiction book that features a woman with beauty and brains. I love when they portray women as smart and strong. That's how I love seeing my heroines. I love that this is kind of also a murder mystery romance. We don't get to see a lot of those. It kind of reminds me of Stalking Jack the Ripper, but I'm going to assume it's less gruesome than that series, and I do love that series, and it's kind of set within the same time period. I'm expecting to get kind of those vibes from it, but overall, I'm super excited to to read this. I've been seeing it everywhere and it's also just such a cute cover. I love covers like this. They definitely make me want to read the book more. I know you're not supposed to judge a book by the cover but I'm a judgy person. So yeah, historical fiction, murder, mysteries, romance, beautiful ball gowns. I am totally here for A Lady's Guide to Mischief and Mayhem and I'm super excited to read it. The next book I picked up, another fantasy book, is one that is extremely popular in the book community as a whole, not just on booktube and not just on bookstagram, but everyone seems to be reading this book and enjoying it. I don't know if I would consider this like high fantasy or maybe I would, I'm not sure really where I would classify this, definitely not with young adult fantasy, but anyway, the book is The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang. This is basically a crowd favorite here in the book community. Everyone loves this book, and I don't really know what it's about, but I'm going to read the back for you. It says, when war orphan Rin aced the Keju, the empire-wide test to find the most talented youth to learn at the academies, she surprised everyone. Test officials, the guardians who wanted to marry her off and further their criminal enterprise, and even herself. But being a dark-skinned peasant girl from the south is not easy at Sinigard, the most elite military school in Nikon. Targeted by rival classmates for her color, poverty, and gender, Rin discovers that gods long thought dead are very much alive, and that she possesses a lethal, unearthly power, an aptitude for the nearly mythical art of shamanism that could be the weapon the Empire desperately needs. When Nikara is at peace, it's 
enemy and former occupiers, the Federation of Mugan, bides its time, and a third poppy war is just a spark away. Rin's shamanic powers may be the only way to save her people, yet as she discovers more about the god that has chosen her, the vengeful phoenix, she fears that winning the war may cost her humanity. Her humanity. And it may already be too late. Ooh, that sounds really good actually. I like kind of the mythology I think behind it. I like that it's kind of set at a school. It gives me a twinge of dark academia in it. I think this is going to be a really cool book. I've heard so many people rave and love this book. I'm so excited to see if I have the same opinions or different feelings about it. I think it's just going to be a really fun overall read. The final book I picked up at Politics and Prose is Another Romance and that is Second First Impressions by Sally Thorne. This is my first Sally Thorne book. I know she wrote The Hating Game and 99% Mine. I have not read either of those, but I read the description of this book at the store and it really appealed to me. I think it follows two people who work at like a nursing home, which I think is adorable and kind of their relationship and romance. And it just looks really cute. And I like the fact that there are turtles on the cover. I'm not sure why, but I'm excited to find out why there are turtles on the cover. I'm not sure why that's the thing that appealed to me. I don't know. But I'm always looking for good romances, especially in the summertime. I tend to read more romances in the summer and I'm really excited to, you know, dive into another romance. And those are the books that I picked up at Politics and Prose. I can hear my TBR crying right now because I have so many other books on there and I have just picked up four more books. But this was such a fun way to spend my booktube anniversary. I love shopping for books and I love spending time with you guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Hit the notification bell to get updates on when I post. I post every single week. Also, maybe comment down below your favorite video of mine from the past two years. That would be kind of cool. Uh, so if you've made it this far, comment your favorite video. That would be, that'd be fun for me to see. Uh, but yeah, that is it, and I will see you guys next week in a new video. Bye! Love you all!